All right, so today I want to talk about um, measuring some nominal cylinders, um, projecting them to a surface to form a circle, and then inspecting them using just a single point circle, so just taking one measurement point. So we're going to start by bringing in our model, and in this case I'm going to use our demo part, which you might be familiar with. I'm just going to bring in just two surfaces that I care about here and just hide this frame, which is a little bit large. I'm going to set our um, rendering to solid plus edges. just makes it a little bit easier to see. Now you may already have um, some nominal points that you're going to align to. You could also do a quick align to CAD. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and create some points that I can then measure. So I'm just going to go to Construct, Objects from Surface Faces, points, center points, and I'm going to add an offset of one inch. So that'll mean that I can measure these points. I'm going to measure these holes right here, but I'm going to offset them one inch so they'll be at the center of my SMR with a um, quarter inch pin nest. So I hit OK there, and then I just select inside the cylinders, and it starts creating those points. I'm going to do six points here, and you'll see that as I click inside, the point is created. And then just one more on the side over here. Okay, so now I have some met some nominal points that I can um, uh, measure and and then um, tie into using the instrument. So I'll go ahead and add the instrument. Just gonna be using an API for demonstration purposes, and then run an instrument simulation. I don't have the tracker here. I'm just going to uncheck connect to it. So then before we start measuring that, I'm just going to go ahead and create my task list. Just to let you know that so you can do all of this off-site before you ever actually start measuring the part. So I'll go to the Relationships tab in the toolkit. And I'm going to, what I'll do is I'm going to measure um, this hole, this hole, and, um, and these four holes in this bolt pattern here. So. What I need to do is just create a relationship for each one of those that I'm going to measure. Um, and, and I want to compare it to the CAD model. So I, I want to measure a diameter and a location, and I want to compare it to the, um, the nominal diameter and location. And that, that's really simple to do. So I'm just going to um, select a plane first, and that is using this plane from CAD here. And so I'm going to measure that plane, and that's going to allow me to project my, my cylinders to that plane. So for these next um, circles from CAD, I'm going to change this to a selected plane, and that's going to um, project everything that I measure onto the selected plane. So I select my projection plane, and now that I've got my projection plane selected, I can form circles from CAD cylinders. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go we'll start with the large one, and then we'll do the bolt pattern. and then the large center circle here. So now I've got my task list entirely set up. I'm actually ready to go into the um, shop and start measuring these parts. So if you go to the inspection tab, the first thing that you'll need to do is do a new instrument alignment. We've got our, already got our instrument here. I'm gonna to switch to our instrument toolbar just to give us a little bit more uh, visual graphical space here. And so I'll, on my instrument alignment, I'm just going to go to a new alignment because it's a new file. I haven't done one yet. And it's going to be a measure nominal points. So there's my nominals group. <clears throat> and you can see that SA brings up those six points that I um, created previously. And we're ready to measure them. So I don't know which point goes with what. So I'm going to turn on my point labels here just by pressing Alt-L in the screen here. And now my point labels are on, so I know which one uh, I'm going to be measuring here. And I'll set my target as a um, one and a half inch uh, SMR with a quarter inch pin nest. That creates a one inch total offset and an eighth inch radial. And I'm going to be just taking single points here. So um, I'll place my SMR in the correct location for point zero. I'll just go ahead and hit measure manually. And we'll go to point one and measure that and then point 0.2 and measure that. Now if I, um, I if I wanted to I can continue measuring these in order 
or I could just say use closest point after the initial locate and then essay will automatically correlate the point that I've measured with the uh, nominal point it'll, it'll know based on its location so then I'll just go to point 0.5 here it, even though it's set on point 0.3 it should tell me that this is point 0.5 yeah so point 0.5 pops up and I'll go back to point 0.3 and measure again and point 0.4 and measure manually so now I've measured all six points and because this is obviously a simulation we got a pretty close um, essay is going to insert a little bit of error automatically when it um, simulates a measurement so we're all within one ten thousandth of all of these so I'm pretty happy with my instrument locate I'm just going to hit finish locate instrument and now we're located to our part and so the next thing would be to just go to our um, task list here and begin measuring each one of these so I've got a um, a plane here and um, from the normal inspection routine I just go and I measure three or four points along this plane um, then I go to the next one and uh, you can see as I progress through the task list SA will highlight so if we go back to the plane it's highlighting the feature that I need to measure there just take three or four points and create a plane and then just take one point for each one of these circles and SA will figure out based on the um, the single point at each circle it'll calculate the diameter and it will calculate the location of that circle projected to that plane and you'll be ready to um, create your report so that's a really simple way to do it um, creating a single point circle is not necessarily the most accurate way to measure diameter um, but if so if your diameter if, if you have a, a little burr on the corner here or if you have a chamfer or something like that then single point circle is probably not going to be the best way to measure um, but just for um, certain features that you're not really too concerned about the, uh, the diameter, then this is a great way to speed through your inspection and um, just take a few simple points and get your both your diameter and your location from that. So that's it for today.